Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 2000 Build 1946 in VirtualBox or VMware. Now this is part of the so-called NT 5.0 and Windows 2000 Beta 3. It's one of the first builds, or I should say probably the very first build of Beta 3. And it actually it has the Beta 3 um, startup shutdown sounds. You won't hear them right away when you install but you can change them and I'll show you that later in the video but um, for this tutorial you will need to install Windows NT 4.0 first um, I'll show you a little bit how to do that here but um, I'm gonna put the video link in the description for it so um, make sure you check that out and install NT 4.0 first and then come back here for the rest of the tutorial so let's go ahead and begin um, if you don't have VirtualBox VMware, go ahead and grab that. Um, so once you get those, and also WinRAR is in the description, ISO is in the description. There is no BIOS state for this. You don't need the BIOS state for this. Um, but if you do, I'll put it in the description as well. Um, password bottom right of the video. So when you're creating a virtual machine, I'll just do that. Uh, put the version as NT4 in VirtualBox. Just put it as Windows NT4. Hit next. Leave the RAM where it's at and leave the hard drive space where it's at. Then uh, hit settings and then go through the uh, 4.0 install process. So um, do that. And then when you get it installed, come back to here and um, you'll get to this screen right here. This is uh, Windows NT 4.0. I'll even show you NT 4.0. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install the uh, 2000 beta. So let me go ahead and insert the ISO. Not guest editions. I don't want that. The ISO. So let's upgrade and then you want to hit upgrade and do not do install a new copy because it will not work if you do that do upgrade to Windows 2000 hit next accept the license agreement hit next now it's going to copy files and then it's going to do a reboot so just for the purpose I'm gonna eject it just in case and It'll take 15 seconds to restart, but then it'll reboot. Or it should reboot, I should say. We'll just do that. And it'll do the little shutdown in progress. And then let it go to the professional setup. It's going to ask you to put the CD-ROM back in. Go ahead and do that. Put the ISO back in. Hit enter in the machine. That's going to do a disk check. And then it will ask to do a reboot. And it will say remove the disk. So, I mean, it's a, uh, it's a bad process, but I guess just follow it. Do the professional setup again. And then it will continue through the setup. It'll ask you to put the disk back in. Go ahead and do that. Another disk check. Now it'll actually start to copy files. And 
then it will reboot again. So now it'll ask to reboot. Go ahead and remove the ISO. No, it's a little bit of a whoops. Complicate. No, I don't want to do that. Reboot, and then uh, that's the only option that'll pop up. So it really doesn't matter. There. And there you see the uh, Windows 2000 Professional. It kind of, it's similar to what NT 5.0 boot screen was like, but then they changed the um, 2000 to a different one. And now I ask you to put it back in. And this whole, I believe this is, it's hard to do this for some reason. There we go. I believe this would be the last time that they would ask you for it, but I could be wrong on that. It'll say starting up the setup wizard. And then it will install some devices. So just let that go for a little while. Okay, so now it'll go through this process of installing start menu items, registering components, saving settings, and removing uh, temporary files. So um, it takes a little bit for the step before, and I've totally, totally forgot what that was. But you just got to let it do its thing, basically, and it won't take long, and now it'll ask to restart. And at this time, this should be the final time you have to take out the ISO. So we'll remove and then restart now. And then it will restart the machine. That'll be the only option that highlights. Hopefully you don't have to enter it in it or put the uh, drive in or ISO one more time. I think that was the final time, but I could be wrong. You gotta take my word on that. So, it'll say network starting and as you can see it says beta three up in the uh, top here it says beta 3 with Windows 2000 Professional um, here you just hit OK and it was, should play the NT 4.0 startup sound I can change it to the beta 3 sounds but so we'll go into the uh, We'll go into the sound settings and I'll show you the uh, startup and shutdown sounds. So here it is. Here is Windows 2000 Beta 3. If we click on Start Menu, it'll say Windows 2000. If we right click on My Computer, hit Properties, it'll say Microsoft Windows 5.01946. So that would be the correct build there. So if we go to Settings, Control Panel, scroll down to Sounds and Multimedia, and then we change the Windows sounds to instead of Windows NT log off sound to Windows plain Windows log off sound and the start sound to the start sound here we I will show you the startup and shutdown sounds so those are the true beta 3 sounds um, I actually didn't think that those were legit uh, that was a legit uh, shutdown sound for beta 3 but I didn't think that that was going to be the real sound but the startup sound was actually the uh, um, later beta 2 um, shutdown sound of 5.0 so uh, there you go guys that's how to install Windows 2000, build 1946 in VirtualBox with VMware. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if it helped you out. I'll share it so you other people can see this because um, I know NT 5.0 is a hard one. Um, I mean, I'd consider this a 5.0, but it's considered a Windows 2000 um, operating system since it says it on there and it's in the beta 3 and that's more when they renamed to Windows 2000 so um, we'll just consider Windows 2000 uh, comment below ideas and don't forget to subscribe for more videos once again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video